friends. By now you have already heard the exciting news. We're doing a weight loss challenge. This is an exciting one. There are so many ways to win big cash prizes. One of the tiers to the challenge is calculating your body fat percentage. Maybe you're like me. You don't necessarily have the pounds to lose on the scale, but an amount of body fat that could use a little bit of work. This is for you. Now, you're probably wondering what a body fat caliper is, what it looks like, and how to use it. Well, I got those details for you. This is a body fat caliper. It is super easy to use. There are two small prongs, a measuring ruler with a tool and another piece sticking out to the side. There is a dial that will measure the inches or millimeters of a specific skin fold. The caliper is designed to measure the skin folds of your abdomen, thigh, waist, and underarm. To properly use, pinch a skin fold, place the tool in a perpendicular position to the fold, and release the jaws of the caliper and report your measurement. Helping me today is Mitchell. Hi guys, happy to be here. For our body fat percentage, we'll be using the Jackson and Pollock seven site formula. This means we'll be testing seven skin fold sites, the tricep, thigh, abdomen, saprilia, midaxillary, scapula, and chest. Here is how you test every site. So first we're gonna start with the triceps. So I'm gonna have Mitchell bend his elbow at a 90 degree angle, and we're gonna mark the midway point between the top of his shoulder and elbow. Then measure a vertical fold at the midway point. So this is about halfway, and I'm gonna have Mitchell naturally relax your arm. Perfect, and we're gonna turn around. Perfect. And then we are going to take a perpendicular measurement right here. So we're looking at about an inch for that site. The second measurement we're gonna take is the thigh. So we're gonna take a vertical fold on the standing leg midway between the kneecap and the crease where the thigh meets the hip. That's gonna be about right here. And that is about a fourth of an inch. The third measurement we're gonna take is going to be the abdomen. A measurement in the abdomen should be a vertical fold on the side of the body. So we're gonna take three fingers and measure the top of your hip and where your pointer finger lands, that is where you'll take the skin fold measurement. And that is half an inch. The fourth measurement we'll be doing is the saprilia. This measurement should be taken utilizing a diagonal fold at the crest of the hip bone directly below the front of the armpit. So that's gonna be about right here. I'm gonna take a diagonal fold. And that is about half an inch. The fifth measurement we'll be taking is the medaxillary. This measurement will be taken with a vertical fold directly below the middle of the armpit on the same level as the breastbone. To easily measure this location, you're gonna raise your arm over your head while a partner measures the area below the armpit. So you're gonna find the breastbone, that's gonna be about right here. All right, and that is about fourth of an inch. The sixth measurement we'll be taking is the subscapular. The subscapular measurement should be taken with a diagonal fold. It is in the scapular region on the back side of your body. For the most accurate reading, the fold should be taken just below the shoulder blade to the side of the spine. So as you can see right here is his scap, and we're just gonna go right there. So he's about a third of an inch. Finally, we're gonna be measuring the chest. Diagonally pinch a fold. This is halfway between the armpit and the nipple. Now, for women, you'll want to pinch a third of the way between the armpit and the nipple. This will allow you to pinch far enough away from the breast tissue for a more accurate reading. That is half an inch. And just a few tips. Remember to keep the measurements to one side of the body. If you start with your right tricep, make sure you do the right side for the remaining six areas. Make sure you record each area on a piece of paper and do this with someone you're comfortable with or a medical professional. Here is how we calculate your body fat percentage. Every gender is different. That is why the formula between men and women will vary. Naturally, women are going to have a higher body fat percentage count than men. 
This is so normal. Women want to be around a 10 to 24 body fat percentage, and men want to be around 2 to 17%. On screen, I have the formula you'll be using to calculate your body density. This is a vital part to how to calculate your body fat percentage. And then, for women, this is your equation that you're gonna use to calculate your body fat percentage. And remember, if you have any questions, please contact our customer service reps and they will be happy to help. Remember, happy losing!